In this video, we will tell you how to set up a MediaLink AC1200 wireless router as a wireless range extender. Here is an example of a home that can benefit from a wireless range extender. The primary router is located in the basement, and there are smart devices throughout the home. The devices on the first floor receive a strong signal from the router, but devices further away do not. Placing a range extender halfway between the primary router and the devices not in range provides a Wi-Fi signal to a larger area. Let's go through the setup step by step. First, you'll need to identify your existing Wi-Fi network name and password. Then, we'll connect to the MediaLink AC1200, log into the MediaLink AC1200, adjust the Wi-Fi settings, set up range extender mode, and then we'll position the unit so that it will be most effective. We will need your existing router's Wi-Fi name and password later in this video in order to connect the range extender. If you don't know your primary router's name and password, there is sometimes a sticker on the router, or you can log into your router and look for wireless settings to find the name, or SSID, and password. Now we'll connect the cables to the router. First, connect an Ethernet cable to one of the yellow LAN ports on the back of the router. Then connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to a computer. Please note that a wired connection, recommended for this setup but not required, is only temporary. Wireless setup is also possible using a phone or a tablet, but it will involve extra steps. If you need help, please contact us at 856-216-8222. Next, connect the power adapter to the back of the router, and then to a surge protector or power outlet. Wait for the router to fully boot up. The power light, the 2.4 and 5G lights, and one of the numbered lights will be lit or blinking. To log into the router, open an internet browser such as Chrome on your computer. In the address bar at the top, type in 192.168.8.1 and press enter on your keyboard. You'll be taken to a quick setup wizard. Click start, and then click skip. If you'd like, you can change the Wi-Fi name of the range extender here, which will be broadcast to the devices in your home. You can also change the Wi-Fi password as well, or keep the uniquely assigned password. Check this box to make your router's administrator password the same as your Wi-Fi password. Click Next and the router will reboot. You will then be prompted to log in using the router's administrator password, which is the same as the Wi-Fi password. Click Login, then go to Wireless Settings, then Wireless Repeating. Click the toggle switch to enable wireless repeating. Choose Universal Repeater, and then select your existing network from the drop-down menu. Enter your primary router's Wi-Fi password here. This is the password we identified in the beginning of the video. Then click Save. WPS will be disabled once the router is put into range extender mode. Click OK. The router will now reboot to activate your settings. Click OK again. Once the router is finished rebooting, log in using your administrator password. Verify that the status says bridged successfully in universal repeater mode. If it doesn't, double check the password for your primary router. A good spot for your range extender is about halfway between your primary router and your ultimate location that you want to reach. If you can stand in that spot and still get a strong signal from your primary router, then that's a good spot for your range extender. If you don't get a strong signal in that location, you should move the range extender closer to the primary router. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for choosing MediaBridge.